stop, stop. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I do the live one too. Yes, I know. I saw your act in the theatre. You're really quite good. Quite a certain harmful habit. Stop it now, I'm leaving. Hello and welcome back. We are breaking up with some more BS. This is episode number 66 and I am Tani Santabria. And I am J.D.K. Whittakin. And, you know, we're going to get our kicks in episode 66. That's yes. what ran through my head. Okay. Well, of course. Now, that song was old <laughs> when I was young. Yeah. I think me too. Yeah. So that's, that's I'm throwing it way back. Way back. Old school. I'm, okay. I'm not that's sure how good. I feel about that. Well, you know, it's, you're a history uh <laughs> Yeah. Teacher, you should feel very good about yeah, this. Yeah, you know, that, that song is going to be an earworm now. I can just tell. I'm going to be walking <laughs> out of here with that song in my head. Route 66. You'll have to play it on your way home. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, have you driven Route 66? No, I haven't, but I did pass by it when I was driving oh, from San Antonio to right. back home. Did you, so did you wave at it on the way by? I kind of did. I was like, oh, there it is. And we kind of looked and then we we were on a mission. We yeah, had to sure. get yeah, 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 yeah. You were on, that was a different kind of trip. Yes. Um, it's really fun, actually. I've done, I haven't done the whole thing from start to finish mm -hmm. in one shot, but I have done portions of it at a time mm -hmm. and it is beautiful. And sometimes you wonder like, if I break down out here, I'm going to die. <laughs> no one's going to find me. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that would be a little There's unnerving. Big yes. open space. Mm -hmm. about that. Anyway, anyway. Okay. How are you? I am doing pretty well. It's good. Pretty well. We're. We're moving on to a new year coming up here. Yeah, we are. We are. And and last week we talked about lists and how how lame they are, <laughs> or how unhelpful. Too yeah, too, too many much. too many things. Too, too many much things. of a good thing is not a good Unhelpful. thing. Right? Yeah, we have yeah. a new, have a new year coming up. So of course you know people are, uh, generally you know what I always notice as the year ends is you have the retrospectives mm -hmm. on the past year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know you have the magazines choosing their person of the year. You have mm -hmm. award shows getting ready to choose the musician of the year, or the movie of the year, all that's coming up. Mm -hmm. right? So I think about that. And then there's always the other side, which is what am I going to do differently mm -hmm. in the next year? So yeah. we, we reflect and then we also look forward. And, and if you're like me once upon a time, you find yourself wanting in either, <laughs> in, in both camps. <laughs> I didn't do what I wanted to do and I really got to do this next year. But I said that last year. And here's where I, oh man. Right. And, and who's present, right? right. Like exactly. who's here right now? We, right. <laughs> we're either looking back or looking forward. Right. right? <laughs> Just did it in, in a larger magnitude yes. <laughs> at the end of the year. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah. So yes. it, that's, that's all coming up. And, um, I, sometimes I like the reminders, like the, the retrospective, sometimes they'll show things and go, oh yeah, mm -hmm. I forgot about that. That's the history guy in me, right? Yes. I remember all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's always the retrospect retrospectives where you realize that something you thought happened a year ago actually happened 10. <laughs> like, oh my God, I thought that just happened. That happens a lot for me. Is it? Yes. Time is just whizzing on by. I can't keep up with it at yeah, all. It's, yeah, it's, it's a little, it's a little unnerving. Mm -hmm. Although if you think about it, a year does literally get shorter every year because our conception of a year based on our age gets shorter every year. When you're four, a year is 25% of your life. Mm -hmm. When you're going on 50 like me, it's 150th. It's just a tiny little speck. Just tiny fraction. So you're on our understanding of time. I know this is getting very Einstein-y. Mm -hmm. um, it's true. Very E equals MC squared stuff. But nevertheless, mm -hmm. there is that. So yeah, it's a new year. Um, I'm aware of it. <laughs> yes, we'll have to write the new year or mm -hmm. type the new year right. on documents. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Uh -huh. Have you thought about the fact that really, if you think about it, the entire idea of a new year is a gigantic story. The whole thing is, yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. Maybe uh -huh. a necessary, a calendar <clears throat> is an important thing, but everything that comes with it, mm -hmm. the newness of the year. Yes. We don't go the newness of the day in the same way between mm -hmm. March 3rd and March 4th, for example, like mm -hmm. we do with December 31st, January 1st. Yes. The monumental thing. Yes. We don't drop a ball every day. To say it is now April. 19th. I can't stay up that late every day. <laughs> There's no you way. You can stay up that late. Period. I know. I know. It doesn't happen. I can't on the text you after either. seven at night. No. You're already there. No. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, it's not. That's pretty. But <laughs> pretty early. A little early, but whatever. But yeah, I can't stay up. I can't stay up that late. But, but yes, this whole sort of idea of even 
reflecting, you know, reflecting on the past and making mm-hmm. New Year's resolutions for the new year, mm-hmm. right? There's stories around that, mm-hmm. that, that we learned, mm-hmm. um, and whatever it is that we're doing, mm-hmm. there's, there's some behind the scenes of that it doesn't make it a problem, but it definitely does reinforce that idea of, you know, be in the past or be in the future, but don't be here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> don't be here. Except in that moment, if you are here, party. <laughs> New right. Year's, New Year's, mm-hmm. Just party, right? Sure. Eat food you shouldn't eat, drink food, drink stuff you shouldn't <laughs> drink or too much of it or whatever. But yeah, there it is a strange thing. And mm-hmm. you know, I've shared about it on this show before and you know this that once upon a time holidays didn't I did not do well with them, mm-hmm. particularly these big ones mm-hmm. because of the stories I was assigning them. Yeah. You know, I would reflect on the past year, find myself wanting because I didn't have a really good view of myself. I would look at the year with a sense of foreboding more than hope or a chance to start over or a chance to do something new. It wasn't an exciting thing for me. And I was comparing myself unfavorably to everybody around me, comparing how I felt internally to externally, all the people going to the parties and having a good time. And clearly we're so excited. And I'm telling myself year after year, I missed the memo on how all this is supposed to work. Mm -hmm. And it just isolated me further and further and further. And so I have, it's different now. It's, it's different now. And I just sort of arrived there at some point in the last handful of years, um, based on doing this kind of work Mm -hmm. because now I spend a lot more time just right where I'm at, (laughs) you know, the pressure's off pressure's off, right? We don't have to evaluate the last year and decide, did we measure up or not? Mm -hmm. And then we don't have to sort of put ourselves forward in, in the sense of like, oh my gosh, all these things I need to start over mm-hmm. or I need to do better in all of these things for the upcoming year. Yeah. And we put those in front of ourselves and mm-hmm. then we get going and then we get until about January 18th and we're like, forget <laughs> this, right? Forget this. Back to where I was. <laughs> Back to where I was, right? right. Instead of just being here mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. around all the things that life brings. Mm-hmm. And then things just naturally take care of themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, it's funny at the gym I go to, I work with a trainer every week and, um, he, I said, so are all the, uh, getting a lot of memberships, people sign up for memberships. He says, yeah, it's starting. He says, it'll really hit after Christmas and after new year's. And well, this place we packed for January by Valentine's day, it'll be back to this, Yeah. you know, that kind of thing. You know, but it's not the, that's not the only time we do this either. Like, you know, at least I could do it around my birthday. Mm-hmm. as well. Anything that marked that a time yeah. passage, I could mm-hmm. do that. And, you know, I'm turning 50 this next year mm-hmm. and I'm actually, I'm really excited about it because there's a part of me that's co- coming from it. The majority of me is coming from the place of now 50. I got over on life so well that I've been here 50 years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's right. pretty great. Yep. Right. And, mm-hmm. you know, and, you know, and then, and you see those things every once in a while that remind you that that actually is a big deal. Right. To be getting there, yeah. To get to that point, that uh-huh. not a lot of people, not everybody does. Not everybody does, and not and some people you think are going to get there, don't, and some people you can be amazed they got there. Mm-hmm. You know, and so for me, it's really kind of an exciting time. Like I feel now that I'm just kind of playing with house money because I know how it once felt to do all that. Mm-hmm. I just don't do it as often anymore. I can mm-hmm. still the stories still come. Yes, they still pop up. Yes. I'm just, the difference is I'm aware when they show up mm-hmm. faster mm-hmm. and I have a better sense of how I can, mm-hmm. you know, what I can do with that, if anything, mm-hmm. you know? not feed the stories, get into my belly, yeah. let the emotions come in and sit for a while and then they leave. Yeah. Yeah. I've been noticing lately, even with like, you know, I have a, hard, a few hard things happen in the last month or so in my personal life, but I've been noticing that I've just been kind of finding the stories when they pop up for me sort of humorous like Mm. like just like like yeah there you are there's your crazy (laughs) (laughs) there's that nut bar story exactly right and and just this sense of like yep i i realize and recognize that those stories are going to continue to pop up and why not just chuckle when they do Mm -hmm. rather than feeling like something different yeah. around them, right? Because yeah. if we've entertained them long enough in our lives, 50 years is a long time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a few years ahead of you, but you know, so we've been on the planet for a long time. Mm-hmm. 
entertained these stories and really sort of made them our own and, and you know, just really sort of made them feel at home, right? Yeah. Um, and and so they're not going to go away. Quickly. No. Right. They're not going to maybe ever go away. They're still oh. going to pop up in times of stress. Mm -hmm. So I have been had a little I've had a little stress the yes, past you month. Have. So the stories can pop up. Yeah. And what I found that's been super helpful is just giving myself a little bit of a chuckle. OK, there you are. Oh, yeah. There you are. But it, that's OK. Right. Because I know that that is what's going to happen. Why would I expect that something else was going to happen <laughs> when, mm -hmm. when the reality is? Yeah. If they will pop up in times of stress. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, kind of dovetailing off last week's conversation is, is you don't have to hold yourself to this standard of like, well, I should be better at not, not seeing those stories. Those stories shouldn't pop up as much, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? And I do think, I'm not sure if they pop up any less now or if they just don't have the impact. Well, you don't get on the train with them. Right. That's the difference. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah used to when we really entertain these guys, oh, yeah. right? They'd oh, pop up and we'd like spend the whole day just hanging out with them. Oh yeah. Right. Just like, yeah. yeah. And then another thing. Oh, and yeah. then, oh yeah, that thing too. And oh my gosh. Right. So we would pile it on. Yeah. At when, when we're stuck, when we can notice what they, that they're there, what they are, right. They pop up and we refuse to get on the train. Then it does feel like maybe they don't pop up as much or um, you know, we're getting to a place of not having to deal with them anymore, yeah. but we are interacting with them very differently. So mm -hmm. there is going to have that feel, but, uh, let's not expect that the stories, once we recognize them are never going to pop up again. Mm -hmm. Let's not put that kind of pressure on ourselves. Right. Right. Because right. then when they do, we have to decide that we're not <laughs> right. working hard enough or, right. Or good enough. Or suddenly we're in danger. Oh my God, they're back. Mm -hmm. I must be doing something wrong. All the things yeah. that go along with it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to continue to pop up. It's what we do next that really matters. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, I think that's probably been the biggest difference is, is I, I think I do something similar. Like it happened to me just the other day where a story that I had not, that had not popped up in my mind in quite some time did. And I ended up noticing it first, interestingly enough, because my body told me there was something. It wasn't something in my head where I went, oh, there's that story. I was, I was, I was coming out of a phone conversation and my energy was suddenly way up. I was amped up and I was feeling fidgety and restless and the conversation was fine. But something in that conversation kicked off this old story. And then after a minute or two, I went, oh, there it is. Oh, that's, I'm, no, I'm not paying attention to that. That's. You didn't get on the train. No, been there, done that. I know where that train goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, once upon a time, that was a type of story that if we're going to take that train analogy, pulled up in the train, jumped off the train, you know, bound me up by hand and foot and tossed me onto it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I just had to ride onto it, how it felt. I rode it for as long as it rode until it crashed into something. Mm -hmm. It was just really different. You know, the ability to stand there and go, no, I'm not getting on that crazy train. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head. Crazy train. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, I'm right here. There's just <laughs> music. For for some reason, music, music is just. Is resonating. Is, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they, they do <clears throat> come up. And I, I guess that's the, you know, and I don't know, maybe sometimes, at least for me, the the sadness and the deep funks I would feel around the holidays sometimes had to do with or were compounded by here we go again. It would happen every time. So I'd be anticipating it coming. Mm -hmm. And then of course the sad part is the further and further out we got from it, the, the sooner and sooner it would show up, you know? So mm -hmm. I'd be worrying about Thanksgiving before Halloween. Right. Or worried about Christmas before Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. you know, or my birthday in September and then, oh God, the holidays are next. Mm -hmm. Just setting myself up for yeah. starting from a, a place of deficit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, that future thinking going back to mm -hmm. sort of either being in the past with our thoughts or being in the future with our thoughts and how deeply conditioned we are mm -hmm. to do this. Yeah. And neither one, again, puts us in the present. Yeah. What was that quote from the Dalai Lama <laughs> I read the other day? 
the other week while you were gone. It was about, there are, there are two days on the calendar where you can do nothing. Nothing can be done. One's called yesterday. One's called tomorrow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And we spend so much time in both places. We do. Yeah. Yeah. We do. So even paying attention to that, mm -hmm. right? Like in this moment, where am I? Am I thinking about a past conversation? Am I worrying about some kind of future? What if? Mm -hmm. Really, I mean, and and so much of the time, a lot of us are <laughs> doing this. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it's an easy clue, mm -hmm. easy clue, and and that's a, a warning signal, obviously, that you're not in the present. Yeah, easy as that. I know a lot of people say, like, how do I, how do I do this? Like, how do I know? Mm -hmm. Past past experience, you're thinking about, you're in the past. In the past. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. And what? Or you can do the two step. Like I used to do, let me go to the past, some, you know, rumination. And then let me do the two step over to over. the future mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to go, oh, that means that next time this, or it means blah, 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 blah. Or, oh my gosh, that two step I did mm -hmm. all the time. And it's easy, still easy for me to do. Mm -hmm. The yeah. difference now is I catch myself in that a lot sooner. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing too. So we bounce over present yep. <laughs> right? and we're getting ourselves worked up. Yeah. And we're telling ourselves what all this means, right? And then we're feeling like we're not okay. And actually, right here, right now, we're okay. We're okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and I really think in a lot of ways, that's the big, mm -hmm. that's the big difference. Mm -hmm. Not doing the dance, not hopping over the, the middle. Mm -hmm. And, and I found for me that, and this is something that happens quite a bit, when the stories pop up, the sooner I can recognize that sooner I can do something in the present that puts me right back where I need to be. And it could be something as simple as going and washing the dishes. Mm -hmm. Saw a show sometime. I don't remember what show it was where somebody talked about the, the meditative power of washing the dishes. I don't remember what show it was. You just have to be intentional about being there washing the dishes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, shift into rather than wash the dishes and ruminate. Yep. Washing dishes. Like I'm cleaning this dish and I'm putting it in the dishwasher. It works. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or I'm going to go and sit and read that book that I've been wanting to read for a half hour. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that and I'm going to intentionally focus. I mean, it, it does the job. It does. And anything that you can do that will engage the senses mm -hmm. is also going to bring you into presence. So that's yeah. the other part of it, right? Like, so you're feeling the dishes. Mm -hmm. You're feeling the temperature of the water. Yeah. Right. Or cooking for myself, the mm -hmm. taste, the smell, the action. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So anything that engages senses is going to help bring you to presence also. Oh. Yeah. Because you're in that, that sort of embodied experience, mm -hmm. utilizing the senses instead of ruminating. Yeah. What ifing. Oh yeah. All those things. That makes sense. You know, one of the, one of the <clears> earlier <throat> techniques I, I learned early in recovery was, you know, kind of, you know, close your eyes. What, what are three things you hear, three things you feel, mm -hmm. three things you smell, you know, what do you taste? Mm -hmm. The idea is to get you right into that. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. we are sensory creatures. Yeah, absolutely. We turn those off quite a bit. We do. <laughs> we do. Unfortunately. Um, but, but yeah. when we return to them, mm -hmm. right, we can, we can sort of get ourselves into more of a grounded, centered, present space mm -hmm. also, which will help us sort of connect to the body differently yeah. and outside of the thoughts too. I love those things. You know, there's, there's one thing that uh, somebody taught me about a chance to kind of get reconnected with the body and then rejuvenate is take your limbs and shake them one mm -hmm. at a time, mm -hmm. you know, and really give them a good shaking mm -hmm. and see, see what happens. Mm -hmm. And it really does work. Mm -hmm. When you do that, it, it, there's a, there's an invigoratingness about it and a centering mm -hmm. of it. So mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, just simple things. You know what I also, I think I already said something about this too on one of our shows, but also like, you know, again, talk about either my grandbabies or my dogs, but it's dogs, okay. right? Dogs. They, they get up from a nap and what do they do? They shake their whole body. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of a shaking, even if we did our whole body, also rejuvenates and connects us to our body. Ah. So even standing up and kind of just, or sitting down, I'm sitting down here, but you know, just kind of like letting the body sort of just shake okay, you're kind of boogie, can be, can be really kind of cool also. Yeah. 
Um, but but dogs just do that instinctually. They don't think, okay, should I shake right now? Should I not shake right now? They just get up and sh- shake, 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 and they're ready to ready to move. Move, right? We could do the same thing. We could. I mean, we wouldn't have the ear flapping thing that I kind of enjoy. Yeah. But um, <laughs> right. the same way. Right. But but same thing. It. That's yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. I. It'd be weird to spin around three times before you sit down every time. Well. <laughs> Well, that wouldn't we be the experiment. shaking. Yeah, let's not do that. And then we don't have a tail. So that's a whole other thing too, right. right? But just that initial shaking from a nap that they do, that shake, shake, shake thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we've talked about babies as well, right? Mm-hmm. But they don't shake when they wake up necessarily. What is... No. But they're present pretty much. They're they're pretty present. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, unless they go into more of a, a somatic fight or flight because there's a, a loud noise or, you know, and right. but they're going to show that by yeah. by a cry typically yeah um but but they're you know dogs don't they, they still shake even if they're no longer babies right um but but babies often are not shallow breathers either they're breathing with their whole body that's right yeah that was the thing yeah they breathe with their whole body and they're very connected to their somatic mm-hmm. experience mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so yeah. that's why we've talked about that yeah so they're not thinking they're not thinking like oh gosh is my diaper going to get changed here any minute <laughs> <laughs> what what the heck is going on? Am I just not good enough for a diaper change? Despite what in the those, world? <laughs> despite those old movies, the look who's talking movies. Right. right. Yeah. I don't think that's happening. But maybe, no. who knows? No. I don't think so. No, it's not. <laughs> um, because if they were, they would be m- much better equipped to tell us exactly what we're doing wrong. <laughs> they would, you know, that facial expression thing. No they filter. would totally <laughs> let us know, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> How are your grandbabies? By the <laughs> they are doing wonderful. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Super fun. Yeah. Yeah. Different personalities, right? Way different personalities. Yes. Mm. Yes. One's an observer and one is definitely a doer. Okay. <laughs> so it's going to be super fun. <laughs> right. Well, see, that's, and see, that's kind of this cool thing. The reason I ask about that is just <clears> thinking <throat> about how that difference, that difference is hard, differences between people are hardwired into it. So it's just how we There are. is, there is part of that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just interesting. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's so, you know, same parents, right? Same process, mm-hmm. very, very different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, it's kind of cool actually. If you think about it, it is, it is. But they're both going to be able to have access mm-hmm. to their bodies in such a way that they're going to be able to make that work for them. That's right. Depending on you know what what sort of characteristics are developing. Well, and they also them. have you to you know help them do mm-hmm. all. That. Oh yeah, yeah. They'll be early learners. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there's the story right It'll there's be... a story like they're so brilliant <laughs> yeah, early learners you know or what are they going to say like when they're teenagers oh boy yeah yeah he's talking about that presence thing <laughs> oh, gosh. well even you know i even thinking even me saying one's an observer and one's a doer that's a story there you go right yeah so so i was thinking about that after i said that out loud like that's what we're seeing right now but that doesn't mean that's going to be what plays out either. right right they right? could shift somewhere along the line completely it's just know. a right here right now yeah is is what that is yeah and then whatever happens with them or whatever they're experiencing and how that experiences will will shape the next step the next step mm-hmm. and we and we never do escape that i think sometimes we lose that as adults mm-hmm. you know we get it into got to have these plans got to do this thing we mm-hmm. use the mind to conquer all you know mm-hmm. all problems or avoid them push them away persevere mm-hmm. you know even though that's not really what it is mm-hmm. And yet we're always, we're always changing. Mm -hmm. Our experiences do that and how we intentionally go into them and how we respond to them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we do what, that's why we do this show. It's like, Mm -hmm. we're not, Mm -hmm. we are not slaves to what happens to us. We are not. We are not. We can choose that. We don't have to. That's right. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty great. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe as the new year is rolling around, Mm just an important thing to remember that, you know, we've been changing all year. And we'll continue to. We'll continue to change. And there's no acceleration just because it's going to go from January 31st to, or December 31st to January 1st. Right. All of a sudden, we don't just speed up all of a sudden. Right. We don't and, speed up at our birthday either. Yes. And we don't have to start the year putting a whole lot of pressure on ourselves no kidding. either. We yeah. can we can be a little bit more aware than mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and it must have been around Thanksgiving. You know, I was talking last week about some rest time coming up which I'm excited about. Took some rest time at Thanksgiving because I wasn't feeling too good. I was, mm-hmm. I was sick for part of it. And I had the best time sitting on the couch watching football all day because I had not allowed myself to be okay with that mm. or do that in a really long time. So I allowed myself to do it. 
And I ended up really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I started at nine o'clock in the morning (laughs) and the last game finished at 11. (laughs) (laughs) I watched football all day. Wow. I slept. I was not feeling well. So I was sleeping in and out. That's part of the fun. Mm -hmm. You know, sleeping. Oh, this game's boring. Fall asleep. Mm -hmm. But the more important part was I did something intentionally for me to rest in part because my body needed it. I didn't fight it. And I managed to be able to do something I kind of enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then didn't make it anything bigger than that. Right. So the story didn't have to be yeah. that, oh my gosh, I had this, I was sick and it was miserable and all yeah. of the things. And, or I yeah. wasted my day. Or, yep. You know, mm-hmm. that, that type of thing. Mm-hmm. I think it's just one example. Yeah. Many, I think. And, and you know, <laughs> over 66 episodes, we've talked about things that all cross over one another. Mm-hmm. They all interconnect, right? It's kind of one of the fun things. I think people could just take all of these 66 episodes, listen to them all out of order. And oh, it, wouldn't matter. Know, it, yeah, wouldn't matter. it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter because all of this stuff keeps all coming back around the same core thing. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. So with the new year coming, we had to get to go to a new year of doing this. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We'll be on episode 67 next year. Is it next year already? I guess we'll be close. Maybe one oh, more. Maybe not. There well, might be one more. Maybe 68. 68. I don't know. I, I can't. <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody I clearly knows. don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, it, uh, and it doesn't, and I don't even need to know. No, that's the thing. Yeah. It's amazing to me that we've done this many. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You were like, I'm not going to get past 35. I never said that. I know, never I even never. thought that. <laughs> that's a story. Right. That would be a story. <laughs> that would be a story. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, whatever the case. We're here. We're here. Yes. And we really appreciate all of you listening <clears throat> in for yet another episode of Breaking Up With Our BS. Um, if you missed any of this episode or any other episodes, you can find this uh, wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find a video feed of it at our YouTube channel, Breaking Up With Our BS. We also have a Facebook group of the same name that you can join and get uh, connected with us between episodes, get content in between and the like. And we certainly appreciate you doing any of those things. We'd love to hear from you and uh, chat with you about what you're getting out of this. Also, be sure that to remember that Tawny's six-week Self-mastery course is Mm -hmm. out there for you at unperfectyourself.com. You can start applying these things in your own life rather than just listen to us do them as magical as that is. Yeah. Well, that's cool too. It is cool. It's great stuff. So check Mm -hmm. that out. And we will be back next week with another episode. Until then, I'm JDK Winnikin. And I'm Tawny Santabria. Thanks for joining us. See Mm -hmm. you soon.